We're here in the beautiful Amsterdam. We're here with Oco Computers, a Dutch company from The Hague. How are you doing, uh, Tim? Yeah, very good. It's been a, been a great day so far and a lot of uh, reactions on uh, what we are presenting here. Right. So, uh, yeah. Oco Computers, maybe for the wider public, uh, I mean, you make a computer actually. Yeah. Dutch, Dutch Fabricate. Yeah, yeah, we are originally a Dutch hardware startup. We started in 2016. Uh, we thought we had some good ideas about hardware concepts and we decided to launch a few of them. Uh, they were picked up pretty good. Uh, we went actually through crowdfunding. Indiegogo, the director of hardware, we met them in uh, 2016 and he was so excited about what we developed mm. that he asked us to put our product on the platform. It was actually already there. Um, and one thing led to another. We really became a crowd-driven and, and, and inspired company. Mm. So we raised uh, three uh, crowdfunding campaigns on, uh, on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Okay. And uh, yeah. Can you show the product maybe? Yeah. So it's like a mini PC, yeah? Yeah, the latest uh, computer that we developed is called the Ockel Series A. It's basically a crossover uh, for a mobile and a desktop world. As you can see, it, I take it out of my pocket. It literally fits into your pocket, but it's actually a full-fledged desktop PC. Mm. And what we did is we integrated the touchscreen and the battery. So it's almost like a phone. That's the only thing that you cannot do with it. You cannot call with it, although you could call uh, using Skype and uh, mm. voice over IP. Mm. And we integrated a lot of connectivity. Uh, because the whole concept is, if you're traveling, then you can use it autonomously. But if you are uh, in 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 uh, near a workspace, mm. then you can hook it up to a larger screen with Display Port, HDMI, USB-C, or even wireless. And then you set it up, and it can be like a full-fledged uh, workspace environment because you use the touch interface as uh, as your keyboard and your mouse. Right. So you have your entire work PC with you. All right. And to, I mean, today you pr present actually your offering. It's a, it's a security token offering. Perhaps you can explain why this step, eh? why this step of the STO. Yeah. So as I said, we are a crowdfunded and inspired company. We're successful in, in developing products and, and also selling them. And then you run into, uh, let's say, a typical uh, challenge uh, as a company. You have demand and you have supply on the other end. And uh, we have more demand than supply right now. So we had to find a solution to, to finance this growth. Uh, and we said, okay, we can do it different. We have ideas how to do it. And we decided to go for a security token, which is uh, an upcoming thing. I'm truly a believer in security tokens mm -hmm. in the sense that we are offering right now that you can really buy a share in our company. You can actually buy a share already from 25 euros mm -hmm. with all the rights that you would normally have at a, as, as a normal share. Mm -hmm. um, but then in a securitized way. So you have a lot of ICOs, obviously. Uh, most of them, they are utility tokens and we offer a security token. So um, it's an existing company with an existing business and growth uh, that we try to finance and we love innovation and to do it radical. I believe in the fact that you need a certain level of autonomy. Mm -hmm. um, so what is, there's nothing better for me than to have a shareholder which is uh, re resembled by the crowd. Is that and uh, we have a large fan base uh, mm. and uh, followers that are really interested to invest in our company. 70,000? Yeah, yeah, it's around 70,000 people around the world. We shipped uh, products in 88 countries uh, right now. And uh, we have a lot of interaction and, and uh, feedback from them also in developing our products. Uh, and as I said, to keep the level of autonomy, this was the perfect way to finance our company. Mm. I mean, you did like a previous times uh, some crowdfunding campaigns. Why not again? Eh? A crowdfunding campaign? Are you too big to do it? Or absolutely no? not. I think uh, we will never leave that space because uh, yeah, we were able to raise a couple of million euros already, uh, and it's 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 a way to sell. Eh? That uh, that the, sorry the the crowdfunding that we used is is a form of product crowdfunding. So people people back our concept and then we develop the product and eventually they get the product um, which works great but now we have existing products with a growing demand around the world that we also need to able to supply those uh, and we don't want to limit our sales channel only through crowdfunding platforms so definitely I mean there's actually one project coming up 
in the next months. Mm. Uh, and I think we will never leave that space because it's a great way to test your concepts, your ideas, and to, to have an interaction and a dialogue with your fan base and people that like your concept. I mean, you're a Dutch-based company. I mean, uh, uh, did, did you have some talkings with the regulator here, the AFM, it's called, uh, about uh, the regulation of this, this STO? Uh, yes. I mean, we did a lot of exploration because this whole idea of uh, use the blockchain to, to sell a share, we had that already for years. Uh, but there's basically no ecosystem. Uh, mm. There's a lot of developments in, in ICOs in terms of utility tokens and coins, mm. but security token is still relatively new. Um, it's difficult to, to, to talk to regulators, at least in Holland, uh, in, in essence, because they have an exemption statement uh, for raisings under 5 million euro. Mm. So they have all our information and they follow us. Uh, I am a true believer in the fact that they will probably like uh, like our security token a lot more than a lot of ICOs. You want to raise two and a half million, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's our goal uh, right now. Uh, the proceeds will be used to, to finance our production and our sales and marketing expansion, mm -hmm. as well as the R&D of uh, future products. I mean, and then we have, all, you also had, of course, the option to have an extra investor on board, but actually you choose to, to finance it via the crowd. I mean, also that option w is, is was deleted. Yeah. yeah, well, as I said before, like mm. we, we love our autonomy because radical innovation, uh, it needs a certain level of autonomy. If you bring in one big shareholder on board, then you need to give away voting rights. And uh, uh, I was worried that perhaps it could interfere with our, with our vision and with our goals. Mm. And other than the fact that there's some downsides to those kind of players, I think it was like only logical to, to use our following fan base. Mm. Um, if you tokenize your company, companies typically very illiquid, uh, every company is, and by tokenizing part of the company, we make it liquid. And those uh, fundings, then we can uh, invest mm. back into the company. So. Right. Uh, I mean, if I'm interested in buying, uh, how does it work? I mean, I can go to a website, I can buy via fiat or perhaps also via cryptocurrency. Yeah. Or yeah. It's actually very simple. We've uh, set up uh, an uh, investors portal. It's called Occult.investments. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, where you can simply buy uh, a number of tokens starting from 25 euros. And you can use all the regular payment methods, including Ethereum and Bitcoin. So that's also, I think, very interested uh, for, for crypto investors and people that are interested in that. Mm -hmm. To have a di diversification and some spread, you can now really buy into a, an existing company. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, other than that, you can use credit card and bank transfer. So yeah. all the normal ba uh, payment methods. And if I'm a bit critical, then what's the use of the blockchain? I mean, I understand you use the blockchain for uh, financing, actually, yeah. a financing model. But uh, other than that, there's actually no, I mean, there are no voting rights. There are no voting rights involved. Eh? Yeah, well, we chose for, for no voting rights for mm -hmm. the reason I already mentioned, like we want some level of autonomy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even take it as critical if you say like we're not a blockchain company. I think this is actually a very positive thing mm -hmm. uh, because blockchain is a great technology and you do not need to have blockchain as the core of your business mm -hmm. to, to use it. Uh, blockchain is a great technology to basically facilitate an IPO and that's what you more or less can do with the security token offering right now. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the future, we also expect that there will be security token exchanges a lot of parties are working on it mm. so in the end and it's our ambition to to see if we can get a listing as well do you have any predictions what kind of uh, return on investment uh, we're thinking of i mean and um, actually we don't make uh, accurate predictions because mm. you know that's uh, looking into the future that's always hard yeah. but we did what we did do is uh, on the occult investments uh, platform we developed not a white paper but a business strategy memorandum as we call it mm -hmm. 40 pages of all details why and how uh, we do things different and how we see it and how the market is uh, and the situation that we are right now so i think it gives a fair and transparent view of our company we we basically throw our entire strategy and where we are in out in the open because we believe in that the fan base if they if they dive into it then they will uh, either like our story or they don't and if mm. they like it then of course then we hope to welcome them as investors shareholders 
Oh man, it's good to see that we have some new Dutch initiatives uh, on the token uh, token uh, firm. Um, yeah, I mean, do, do you do some trading or some investing yourself, or yeah, are you yeah, more? Yeah, I have uh, I have a small wallet myself, and uh, yeah, uh, dozens of uh, altcoins and uh, yeah, all the ba all the basic stuff I would say, and. Uh, for me, it's only like uh, if if there would be other companies offering security tokens, I would probably also dive into it, or maybe even diversify and sell a few of my existing uh, mm. uh, shares. And uh, because it, it's it's also risk-wise, it's interesting, huh? because mm. we are a company with a track record, and like I said, you like it or you don't. You but you profit. know what you know what you, we are profitable. You know what you buy into. A lot of mm. ICOs. In the end, are still concepts, often great solutions for for complex ideas by blockchain, uh, but it's not an existing company yet. And of course, we also have a few negative stories that, uh, in the end, the company is never established or never successful. There, there's a loss in sense of urgency to to maybe even uh, pursue uh, what they came up with. There's no regulation. There's no regulation. That's that's another problem. Mm. Um, yeah, as I said already a little bit, SEC and and and, and local authorities, AFM. We, we really try to look okay what's on the market and and w i'm a firm believer that they much better understand what we are doing here than uh, the regular icos which is often still vague and of course you have some negative stories mm. i think that a lot of companies in the end will uh, will pursue this this road and new trend I mean, yeah is it new trend coming yeah i mean it's challenging for us as well to be honest because there's there's no there's no good ecosystem and uh, well somebody needs to be the first one so we decided to take up the challenge and we see a huge advantage and right. as i said already from our fan base we know that it resonates uh, we we get the fundings in already mm. so uh, for us it's a great solution to finance a company as an alternative to a bank or a private uh, equity firm mm. Last question, uh, perhaps good to mention your partner is like uh, Bilex and they built the whole uh, yeah. blockchain solution? Yeah. I mean, yeah, as I said, we are not a blockchain tech company, so we partnered up with Bilex and Liquid, uh, also a company from the Netherlands, and uh, they helped us with developing the smart contract and the, and the crypto token, it's an ERC20 uh, Ethereum. Okay. So yeah. yeah, very standard, very compatible, but uh, yeah, just programmed a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And they help us with that and, and with the distribution application tool, which is an important element, of course. Mm -hmm. So later on, if we pay dividends that will and, and communicate, that will all go through the DOP. And uh, all Ethereum addresses, uh, they are approached uh, through the DOP. All right. Thank you very much, Tim, for your time and uh, all the best. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.